What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and I'm extremely excited right now because we got some news from Sakurai maybe like two days ago that there's going to be a new character for Super Smash Bros. Wii U 3DS announced this morning. So right now I'm bringing you guys this video and as you can see on the screen there I've got the um, website up right now. What's going to happen in one hour and 58 minutes is that there's going to be a live stream of this new character and you know how they usually do that really cool intro video for whoever they're introducing. <laughs> I'm saying it's Ridley, nigga. It's Ridley. It's gotta be Ridley. Because, you know, I mean, you remember from when Sakurai had the fucking, um, the, the video talk, like, remember when he did the whole, um, E3, um, presentation video, and you saw Ridley was in the video with Pikachu, but you didn't see Ridley himself, you just saw his shadow? It's fucking Ridley! I swear to everything, it's gotta be him. Sakurai knows people want Ridley. I mean, he's on 4chan forums, he's on Reddit, he sees what the people want, man. And I don't want to hear anything from anybody in those comments right now talking about, Ridley's too big! He's too big, you stupid nigga! No, 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 no. Think about this, right? Like, well, well, you guys have probably seen all the arguments. There's a million videos out there right now explaining why Ridley can be in the game and why his size wouldn't necessarily be a hindrance to that. But I, I'm not going to sit here and explain it. There's a lot of videos on it. I'll probably link one in the comments if you guys really want to know. But his size should not really make the difference because there's characters like Bowser who are really massive in some games and yet they manage to scale them down. And we all know that Sakurai doesn't really have things scaled to size because Olimar is the same size as Pikachu and Pikachu is the size of... Lucario, so I mean, take that into consideration, but I really think it's Ridley. I've never played a Metroid game in my life, so I guess some of you guys are like, what the hell, why do you want Ridley in the game so bad? Because at this point, man, I've seen a lot of the confrontation between Ridley and Samus in a lot of the speculational videos, and it looks like those two have a really bitter history together, so I kind of want to see that play out in Smash, and I mean, even though I've never played a Metroid game either, Ridley looks like a cool character, you know? The fact that he actually has a rivalry with Samus, like, what the hell kind of relationship is that? I really want to see that break down. And he's, and, and you know, Metroid is like a really, like, long-running series in Smash, and yet it's the only series, or one of the only ones, that doesn't have a villain included with the Smash Brothers roster. So, I mean, if Kirby could get King DDD, you got Bowser, you got Ganondorf, you, you know, they gotta put Ridley in there. He's the main, well, he, I don't know if he's the main antagonist in Metroid now, but he's, he's a really big factor, so I'm really hoping it's him, man. A lot of people are saying it might be um, Shulk from Xenoblade. I don't know if Shulk is the actual name of the guy, or Krom from Fire Emblem. Th those are great, Fire Emblem, excuse me, but those could be great additions as well. There's a lot of people who, like, there's this one video where this guy predicted, like, a ton of Smash characters successfully so far, including Delicious... Lady Palutena, who I'm extremely excited about because she's gonna be broken as fuck. I'm already, I'm gonna make some speculational videos about that later. I said that a lot of times before, but it took me a while to get back. And if you don't know, I moved to a new place, so this is my new place now. That's why I was gone for a week. So I apologize for not having videos for a while, but you know, it, it's kind of hard to make videos when you're fucking moving out of your place. And it wasn't a move that I kind of wanted, or rather, it was, I guess, but it was kind of like sort of a forced move. And it wasn't because I didn't pay no rent. I paid everything on time. All my utilities and everything. That's why, that's part of the reason why I'm moving out that bitch. But anyways, enough of that. I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. So what I'm going to be doing right now is, as you guys can see, there's one hour and 54 minutes left until this massive announcement. I mean, well, it's massive to me because, you know, the fact that there's a new character being announced for Smash Brothers, that, that's definitely warrant enough for being, for calling it massive. But, um... I'm going to be giving you guys a live reaction of this thing because, you know, this is going to be kind of different whereas, you know, the video is going to be, it's not going to be out yet, so I really have no idea who to expect. Like, it's not like if you see on your YouTube subscription feed, oh, you know, Ridley announced. Like, no, we don't know going into this. The video is going to start playing and I'm going to lose my shit, so you guys will be able to see that on camera. So, I don't know if I should do a live stream leading up to it or just post the video after it's said and done. I'll probably do the second option because I absolutely suck with live streaming, even though I do have a really good webcam, but I, I really don't know how to live stream yet. I really gotta work that out, but leave your comments below on to what you think this new character is going to be. I'm banking on Ridley, baby. It's gotta be Ridley, and if it's not Ridley, then it's Mewtwo. Well, either or, but then again, then again, Sakurai said it was a newcomer, so it can't be Mewtwo, but then again, is Mewtwo considered a newcomer? I don't know. I mean, he wasn't in Brawl, but... I, well, maybe it's a new character altogether. So, I mean, you know, the main choices that we got on the table right now are Shulk from Xenoblade, um, we got Krom from Fire Emblem, and we have um, fucking Ridley, man. I, I, th I think it's him. I really think it's him. Like, it's such a solid move for Sakurai to make, and he's really going on on fan service this time. So, I'm really hoping that he took this option into consideration. I mean, 
It's the best move to make, honestly. You make so many people happy with this, Thakurai, so don't fuck this up. I, he's not too big, you motherfucker. <laughs> he's not too big. He's He can be fit in just fine. I've seen a lot of images where his size is scaled, so that way he does look big, but he still fits in as a character to be played in Smash. You know, I've seen images that do that, so there's a way to get him in. And there were a lot of times that Sakurai thought that certain characters would not be able to get into the game. I mean, like there was a point where he thought Game & Watch wouldn't, for, w wouldn't fit for the game, or other characters as well. I can't remember exactly off the top of my head, but there were times where Sakurai shitted on other characters, like Pac-Man. At one point, Pac-Man was suggested for Super Smash Bros. Brawl, but Sakurai was like, how the fuck are we going to fit somebody that looks like pizza in the game? Like, we can't do that. And then now Pac-Man's in the game. I've seen this article, it's true, look it up, but... Basically, there's always options to be opened up in the future, even if they're not right available at the moment, you know, and Sakurai said, you know, there's times where I would think a character would be bad and they fit in really good. So, hey, we'll see. Either way, this guy's got a magic touch when it comes to implementing characters. The way he bought Pac-Man in the game was absolutely stupendous. This guy is a true homage to Namco. So, I really think he can do the same with Ridley. He can do the same with anybody. Um, niggas are saying that it might be Rayman, because Rayman is actually showing up on the website right now, but he wouldn't show the character before it's announced. So maybe it's not going to be Rayman that's going to be playable, even though I think that would be a great move as well. Rayman seems like he would fit the fucking roster perfectly. I mean, get some Ubisoft action in there, you know, because they can't exactly put Ezio in the game. Although, although, although Kojima did put Snake in the game, so maybe they could put an assassin. But, nah, that wouldn't fit. That <laughs> wouldn't fit at all. But, hey man, I'm just speculating right now. I'm really excited. I'm looking forward to this. Let me know who you think it might be. Um, I think I laid down the main options, though. I think, I think it's going to be one of those three. It's got to be Shulk, Krom, or Ridley. Ridley. It's going to be Ridley, though. So don't even bullshit me. It's going to be Ridley. You know it. I'll talk to you guys in the next video, which will be the announcement video or the um, reaction video. So stay tuned for that. I mean, I'm not, going to, I'm, not, I'm not going to lose my shit too much if it's a character that's not one of those three. I mean... I don't know, I really have to get wild here for me to be like, oh shit, but anyways, I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.